away in Adelaide at the moment visiting the grandkids so got a little bit of spare time up my sleeve so I thought I'd do a series of videos on biting insects and and how we deal with them at the moment we're in uh, Lee Point and this particular spot has uh, a double whammy issue because we've got mosquitoes and sand flies so anyway, this will be the first instalment and I hope it's informative for you. The first one will be what I'll loosely call the chemical repellents. Um, and ultimately, there is only two choices, which is basically you're off. And then there's your deep types. So there are things like Bushmans, the appetizers that they use deep. And then there are the other repellents that basically use DEET but don't advertise it. We've got some mangroves out the back. If the wind blows from the east, we have more trouble with the midges. Um, certain phenomena uh, increases their activity, high tides. And there's um, a Department of Health uh, website up here that will give you the worst times um, to look out for midges and it's around the full moon or the high tide. So anyway, we're looking at the chemical repellents. Um, as I said, there are basically two types. So this is the Bushman's, this is DEET, this is a spray one. You know, rub it on. Most of these have an alcohol smell, so I think what they are is a dissolved oil in alcohol, and then that uh, alcohol evaporates off and you're left with the, the actual repellent. Um, I quite like this one. I find this one works very well with both uh, midges and mosquitoes. Uh, if you have an aversion to DEET then you're probably not going to like it. If you're price conscious you can get the Woolies version. Uh, this is Radius. It's their brand name and if you read the chemical composition it's fundamentally DEET. There are in the Bushmans, there are other chemicals in there, um, and I'm not sure what the difference would be. And I find this slightly better than the radius. Again, with most of the sprays, you spray it on. I tend to rub it in. It's very, very similar smell. It smells like one of the other brands, Aerogard, which I don't have. And um, and once the alcohol evaporates away, you're left with sort of like an oily film, but it's not too bad. The other one is RID. <laughs> now this should actually be this purpley color, but the, the packaging doesn't last particularly long um, for the RID in the can. Very much the same as the Bushman's and the Radius very similar sort of a smell and very similar feel on your skin so the radius the rid and the bushman's um, I find generally all right um, you can feel it on your skin if you went to bed with it on you would notice it at a pinch you would go to bed with this on um, but most times you would prefer not to the red roll on I find really interesting. So once you rub it in it almost disappears completely. Uh, it has no smell. No smell at all. And that on, on your skin afterwards feels fine. Um, and I would have no issue with going to bed with that. Whereas these other ones you go to bed and you, you feel like a stickiness about it. So you would prefer not to. The other one that you've got is off. This has a different chemical in it. It's called Picardin. 
there's been a bit of research about how well it works with mosquitoes we generally find that it doesn't last that long and particularly with midges and sandflies it just it just doesn't stack up compared to the deep base products the spray on one when I put this one on it's very oily so the pump spray um, version seems to be thicker absolutely no smell which is a good thing you do you are left with a, a bit of an oily sensation the spray this one's almost run out you know, spray that on this is again like with most of these aerosols there's a, an alcohol smell but then that goes away and you're left with almost no smell at all so um, the interesting thing is the can version uh, is not as thick and oily as the pump spray version so I don't know why so if you were to ask me what my preference out of all of these were um, I would point you in the direction of the rid roll-on um, it works particularly well um, it works these two together work pretty much the same I've got a mozzie flying around me at the moment and he's not landing on me <laughs> um, these two work pretty much the same they'll keep the um, sand flies or midges off here as well as keeping the mosquitoes away but this this particular version has no smell and when you rub it on it doesn't leave that oily sensation on your skin um, so that's that would be my preference so thank you for watching the first installment I'll look at making uh, another couple of videos and I'll talk about non-chemical repellents and then in another video I'll talk about some of the tactics we use other than putting things on your skin to keep the biting insects away.